hello everyone so now we are going to do the redistribution in this scenario one side we have the ospf one side we have the eagrp so how we can make the communication let's see so let me zoom this one if you see this imagine this is your head office okay this is your company later you buy another company that is a small company you buy this also in that one they are running the eagrp and in your organization you are running the ospf now you need to make the communication between two different protocol i hope you remember in our previous class we told that if we have one side ospf other side is eagrp or any different routing protocol we can do the redistribution so with that one we can have the communication between the head office and the branch office okay so if you see here this is our r1 and this is our r2 imagine this one r1 the green color this one is having the ospf we are running the ospf with area 0 i put the loop back instead of connecting the switch connecting the pc and server i did not connected because i want to explain the concept so what i done here i taken the loop back loop back 0 we will treat this one as a lan network okay 192.168.1.1 our lan network and if you see this side this is our lan network for the branch office 192.168.2.1 and this will be in the eagrp and this and this all will be in the ospf so let's see how the routes are going to exchange how eagrp and ospf is making the communication we need to do the redistribution with the help of redistribution we can make the communication so first of all i will take the r1 and i will do the configuration in the r1 this is a brand new router we are going to do the configuration okay so this is the r1 router r1 i will do the basic setup here first let me change the host name i will go here in the global configuration mode i will change the host name as r1 after that i need to assign the ip i will assign the ip fast ethernet 0 by 0 ip address whatever ip we plan in the ip schema i am going to use this one 192.168.12.1 So I will write here 192.168.12.1, then give a space write 255.255.255.0, and we will write no shut here. Okay, and we have the LAN network. I am saying this loopback zero is a LAN network, so I will write here interface loopback zero. Okay, and I will assign IP here also. I will give IP here is 192. Dot, let me write here 192.168.1.1. Space two five five dot two five five dot two five five dot zero, okay. And loop back already it is up, so no need to write no shirt. If you want, you can write, but no need to write. Okay. Let me show you. Do show IP interface brief. Just I am showing you the interface status. If you see here, what we can say here this interface, fast Ethernet zero by zero. This one we are using. Okay. This is the fast Ethernet zero by zero. We assign this IP. and this is status is up protocol is done because opposite side is done that's why it is showing protocol is done we need to write no shut here so it will go up okay we will see that no issue and also if you see here this is a loop back zero i assign this ip this is our lan network okay this is our lan network and if you see loop back zero status is up protocol is also up so let me do the same configuration for r2 also so i will log in to the r2 router and then we will do the configuration okay this is our r2 or if you want let me reduce the size so easily you can see that okay this is our r2 so let me do the r2 basic configuration i will write enable config t host name r1 r2 this is a r2 and then interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 i will write here ip address 192.168.12.2 255.255.255.0 i will write here no shut okay let me create one loop back loop back 0 i will create and we are going to assign the ip ip address 192.168.2.1 okay imagine this is your lan network in the head of branch office okay so this way we done the ip address configuration let's see i write do show ip interface brief to check the ip status okay to check the interface status so everything is good no issue here 
now we need to do the configuration so first of all let me do the configuration in the r1 after that i am going to do the configuration in the r2 okay let me do one minute okay so let me do the configuration here i will enable the ospf okay so i write router ospf1 after that i need to enable the ospf in this two interface if you see i need to enable the ospf here and here i will use the interface method you, you you can use whatever you want so i will go here interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 i will write here ip ospf1 area 0 and then interface loopback 0 ip ospf1 area 0 with this command i can enable what we need to do we need to go under that interface and we need to write that so i go under this interface interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 then i write ip ospf this is a process id and then area 0 that's all i enable the ospf in the loopback 0 and also fast ethernet 0 by 0 in these two interface okay so this uh, task whatever i done here finish now i need to log into the router 2 and we need to do inside the router 2 so if you see router 2 this interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 this is in the ospf okay this interface is in the ospf but if you see this loopback 0 is in eigrp okay let's do that configuration so what i will do here i will write here router ospf1 then interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 i will write here ip ospf1 area 0 this one finish now we need to write the EAGRP so I will write here router EAGRP 1 ok router EAGRP 1 after that I will advertise here let me advertise with the network command I will write network 192.168.2.0 and I will write no auto summary but in the new up, uh, update software no need to write but anyhow I will write no auto summary so what I done here router eigrp1 and i advertise this network so loopback 0 is having the eigrp loopback fast ethernet 0 by 0 is having the ospf if you want we can check here i will write here show ip root if you see i am getting the root from the ospf this one this loopback 0 that is a lan network from the r1 i am getting here but if you go here in the r2 you will not get the LAN network from any other protocol or any protocol. If you see here, I am getting only directly connected in the R1. I am not getting this LAN network of R2 because it is with the EIGRP. So we need to do the redistribution where we need to do the redistribution in this router. We need to go under the OSPF and we need to do the redistribute EIGRP and we need to go under EIGRP and we need to redistribute OSPF okay we need to do in this router then only this route will go there okay so let's do now what i will do i will log into the r2 and then we will do here so i will write here config t and then i will write router ospf1 and then i will write redistribute eigrp1 okay if you put question mark you will see here what we need to do i will write here subnets so whatever subnets i have I will do the redistribute. I am putting the subnet of EIGRP in the OSPF. So this one is finished. Now I need to do same thing. What I done here, I go in the OSPF. I redistribute the EIGRP. Now I need to go under EIGRP and redistribute the OSPF. So what I will do now, I will go here, router OSPF. OSPF we already done. So EIGRP 1 and now i go inside the eigrp now i need to do the redistribute ospf1 and here if you see we are doing with the matrix so we need to write the matrix value if you remember matrix value we have the bandwidth so we can give the bandwidth whatever bandwidth we have now i will give one okay after that press question mark you have the delay whatever delay you have we need to write that one i am using one for the simplicity we can check the router interface to get that detail also after that if i write the one and then i press the question mark they are asking write the reliability if you see 255 is 100 percent reliable so we can write 255 
and then I will press question mark. They are asking load. 100% load means we can write 255. You can write any value, okay? After that, they are asking the MTU. What is the MTU of that one? So I can give anything. I am giving one here. Okay, this is a metric. If you remember, if you remember whenever we are uh, studying before the OSPF, so what we have, we have the metric. If you remember, we have the uh, bandwidth, we have the delay, we have the reliability, we have the what we can say load and we have the MTU. Okay, so this value we need to write. If you want to write all or one, you can write all or also one for the lab purpose. In real scenario, you can log into the interface and you can check the value and put that value. Okay, so I will press enter now. After that, it will start redistribution. Okay, so you can go here and you can check after some time you will get the root. Okay, if you see you are getting the root now before you are not getting this one. I am in the R1. I am inside the R1. If you see, I am inside the R1. I am getting the LAN network of R2. 192.168.2.0. If you see here, I am getting OE2. What is the meaning of OE2? OE2 is nothing but if you see here, O is nothing but OSPF. But if you see E2, E2 is nothing but external type 2. This one, let me show you. Where is E2? This one external type 2. So we are getting this root externally. That's why we are having the E because this is the OSPF root, but this is not original OSPF. We are getting from EIGRP to OSPF. Okay. That's why it is a E2 by default. It will come E2 and they will have the metric as 20. If you have E1, that will be the different. But when you do the redistribution by default, it will take as a E2. Okay, so what we are saying now I am getting the root. I can ping the LAN network from this side. So let me ping. I will ping 192.168.2.1. It will work. Okay, before we are not getting the root, but when I do the redistribution, then we have that one. If you are confused with two router, take one switch here, connect some PC, take one switch here, connect some PC, then try to ping. It will not work. When you do the redistribution, then it will start working. Okay, so what I done here, let me show you only small configuration I done. Okay, let me write here. I go here. Okay. Let me copy everything and modify. So you can easily understand what I done here. Okay, let me paste somewhere. Let me paste in the notepad or somewhere. Let me write in the notepad so you can easily understand. See here what I done here. I go in the router SPF one. Okay, this one. And let me remove this all value from here to here. Okay, let me remove because you will confuse if I give everything. Okay. So I go on inside the router OSPF one, then I write redistribute. No, not this one. I go inside the EIGRP. So this one, let me copy and put this here. So if you see here, I go inside router EIGRP one, then I wrote redistribute OSPF one and the metric, whatever metric we want, we give that one. So this way, what we are doing, we are putting the OSPF inside the EIGRP. Same thing we will do the other way. I will show you that we will go inside the OSPF one. Okay. And then we will do the redistribute EIGRP. So let me paste somewhere here. So I will paste this here. After that, we will uh, do this one. So with this command, what we are doing, we are redistribution EIGRP in the OSPF. Okay. Let me move here up. See, we go inside OSPF and we redistribute EIGRP. Then we log into the EIGRP and we redistribute OSPF. That's all. Okay. So this is only the configuration what we done. After that, it is start working. So let me paste here. Let me paste this here. So later you can uh, revise. Okay. Let me save this. I hope it is clear for you. 
if you are facing issue like write in the chat box or in the comments we are going to bring some more video so you, it will be easy for you try to watch one or two time this one it is easy only okay if even if you face difficulty let us know we are going to make some more video about this one okay it is simple only see here this is a ospf this is ospf this is ospf this is eagrp so this eagrp will not go here and this ospf roots will not come here so what we are saying here we are saying that ospf this is eagrp do the redistribution and here we are saying eagrp this is ospf do the redistribution that's all only okay i hope you understand that one in in case if you face any issue let us know we are going to support you we are going to help you thank you